Hi everyone, welcome back to another Mech Lab episode, and welcome to those who are joining us for the first time. Uh, in these episodes, I kind of separated this from our normal playthrough, which is going to be in the description below. It's our Battle Tech Advance 36.2 playthrough, and I like to separate working in the Mech Lab, uh, upgrading our Mech Warriors, and upgrading our Argo separately from the video so you guys get straight into the battles. So if this is not what you're looking for, I suggest going through the playthrough list in the description below and watch those videos instead. But if you'd like to join me today and we can go through upgrading our mechs, pilots, and all that sort of thing, stick with me. All right. I hope everyone's Christmas was great. Um, mine was good. So, uh, yeah. I think we will start with Draco here. We're going to do some gunnery. I think we'll do straight gunnery with Draco. Training confirmed, Commander. Yes, Commander. And then Jackdaw. I think we will do heat efficiency. Training complete. Receiving you. Mallard. I would like you to have some hit defense. Hit defense is incredibly Mech important. Mech warrior training complete. Uh, sandbag. We just yes, picked up sandbag, Commander. so probably not a lot of experience. Confirmed, as our Pegasus pilots. Yes, boss. Uh, shrapnel. I think we'll just go straight gunnery. Training complete. For now, I think what I'm gonna do is go into Street Racer, which uh, reduces damage taken by 20% at all times. So it's really, really nice passive. Receiving you. Uh, Theropod. Sir. Um, Nighthawk pilot. I think we will do the same. Get some hit defense. Get some resolve gain. Mech warrior training complete. And then ultra tool. You, commander. We'll have some hit defense. And call shot bonus. Perfect. Training confirmed, commander. I think that will do for our mech pilots, and we'll head into the mech lab portion. Oh. Before we do, we're going to check the store, see if there's anything we might want to pick up. Pick up this ER small. New weapon systems available. Um, not really sure about the heavy rifle. Not really sure. I do have one Gauss rifle already, so... I'm not really looking forward to that. Uh, looking to buy one at this point. Kind of undertoned for Gauss rifles. And I know the Hollander does carry a Gauss rifle, but uh, I think uh, having the slots for such a weapon is uh, not readily available in most mechs. So uh, we're going to take the Streak SRM6. It's probably the most expensive item on here, so we will we will take that. Yes. New weapon systems available. Um I don't want to spend too much money. This light pharaoh could be interesting. Might get that PPC there's half ammo for Artemis. Uh, we'll take all of those. New equipment available. We'll take dumb fire. New equipment available. And we'll take this as well. New equipment available. And we'll take this UAC-5 as well. Uh, I have 2.6. Is there anything I want to sell? Get rid of this SR. Yeah, I think this SR is just... Yeah. It is time to move on from the SR. Okay. Mm. 
We'll sell these guys off as well. Don't need them. Okay. 2.9. Is there anything else? This ballista is sort of interesting, but we're kind of far away from doing anything like that. Sweet. Increase resolve gain could be interesting. So jump jets, light pharaoh. Ah, I don't know. Nothing's gonna help us that much. I'll take a PPC FCS. New equipment maybe, available. Maybe we get something decent there. I don't know. Alright, I think that's gonna do it for this. There's nothing else here that I drawing my attention. Yeah, I wish I had a mech to yield another Gauss rifle, like two Gauss rifles, that'd be fantastic. But yeah, for that's tons, that's nothing we can do. All right, is there anything we want to do with the Shadowhawk? Um, ATMs. I don't know. I think I think the Shadowhawk is in a good place for right now. Feel feel good with it. Does 164 damage. More than enough. And this I mean, the only other thing I can think of that if I had it, I would definitely do it is Heavy Pharaoh. Maybe, I mean, could I put a light engine in this? Potentially as well. Gives us three and a half tons. Gives us three and a half tons. I know I have Plan XLs, but they're expensive to install. Or I can put in an XL engine, which is a little bit more high risk. Seven and a half tons, though. Man, what would we put in there? If we wanted to do this. I mean, this is extremely risky with the engine. I mean, do we just go with another streak? Two streak SRM6s. But do we have the ammo for it, though? We do. It's 200 rounds. Yeah, it's 200 rounds. Doing 218 now. What's our heat efficiency at? 19, it's not bad. Do we have a double heat sink kit? I don't know if I can even... Uh, we have Pharaoh Fibers Clan. Is that the same? It is the same, but less slots. Okay, so this doesn't help in our case right now. I mean... Ugh, man. What can we do here? I mean, we could put a heat sink, a two heat sinks on, but is it really gonna do anything? I mean, let's take a look. 
Makes us heat neutral. 11 heat gained. So, take down 8 heat, which is kind of whatever. If I had a double heat sink kit, I would definitely use that. Yeah, I don't mind playing a little risky, though. I mean, we're really, we're really armored. So I don't mind playing a tad bit risky here. Hmm. So we could just do this. gives us some more accuracy with this weapon. Hmm. Anything else? Drone airdrop beacon. Cost is seventy five thousand sea bills to deploy. It's a ton and a half for the Guardian ECM. Beagle probe is a ton and a half. Gut support. Yeah, I mean, oh. yeah, I guess just a heat sink. I, I don't know. I don't want to overthink it. It's 153,021 days. So we're going to have to go into after our travel to pass some time, which is fine. All right, I'm I'm good with this. I think that's fine. fine. I'll let you know when that's done. The Griffin, I think the Griffin's a really good place. I mean, can we even put Pharaoh in it? I just want to see if we can put Pharaoh in it. We'll put Clan Pharaoh. We could. We could. And the only reason why I'm doing that is once I do get Artemis, I want to put it on the LRM-20. Because that would be a tremendous help. Or uh, LRM-FCS would be, would be fine as well. But I think he's in a good place, so we're going to keep him as is. Uh, the Cicada might be the same. Well, you know what? We'll do this. I had some ER meds laying around. I'm sure, we gain a little bit of like more heat, but yeah, I think that's fine. Some ER meds. Yeah, validate it. Let's do it. Logged and noted. Shouldn't be Hitbox. Okay, kit box. What do we want to do with you? Is there anything? No, I got ATMs, but I don't know if I have ammo, ammo for it. I have one bin. I have one bin. Is there nothing in the store? I didn't see it in the store. I didn't see it, so I assume no. Would be a no. Because I'm halfway curious here. I guess this is a ton. I want to take this pulse off as well. Uh, ATM 3. 
It's a half ton. So we can put... So two ATM threes. It's one hundred and forty three damage. It's a little underwhelming for me. Is there bonuses to them? Yeah, like a more chance to hit type of thing. But I do have SRM4 clans. One sixty seven. Two hundred and three. Interesting. And then some SRM ammo. Yeah, I feel like this this could do something. <laughs> I feel like this could do something. What is the range? Mm, medium laser range, really. Yeah, let's do it. I'm alright with that. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Alright. I will yeah. I'm sure I put streak SRM. More streak ammo on him, I believe. Pretty sure I did. Okay, well that's gonna be it for the mech portion. Uh, I don't think the Nighthawk needs any more attention. Could have put the ER meds on here, but its heat is already an issue um, that I could tell. But yeah, well there's a double heatsink kit there. Mm. All right, so that's gonna be it for that. Uh, the boss I'm not even gonna bother touching. Um, so we're going to go over to the engineering, the Argo part, and we are going to upgrade tank, uh, this vehicle bay so we can now increase our tank slots to one more and our drop limit to uh, by an increase of 50 tons. So now we could field It'll take a bit, but we'll our other Pegasus. So we're going to be a force to reckon with, and we have about 2 point some odd million sea bills to go. We still have to travel yet, so and we have a financial report potentially. In our future but uh, th thanks for joining me today on this little mech lab uh, episode I really do appreciate it uh, my normal episodes uh, for this playthrough air on Monday and Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and like I said I'll leave a link below in the description for you to check out thank you for watching I'll see you again